Hey everybody, Ted Forbes here, welcome back. And in the last video, I showed you how we could extremely rapidly set up a WordPress blog, hosting domain, WordPress, the whole works. And we just did it in under five minutes. And I know that was a little bit of an extreme example, but I did wanna show you how quick and easy it is to get this done. And we're gonna talk a little bit about WordPress, particularly uh, with getting a theme that's gonna work uh, in this video here. And so, you know, this is what we set up in the last video, and this is my basic WordPress page. and. You know, WordPress comes with some really nice looking themes, but, um, you know, part of the problem is they're the default theme. And so, you know, the chances that somebody else's website would look a lot like this are very high. And also WordPress is set up to be a blog. And one of the things that, you know, if you're a photographer, which is the point of these videos, is that you need WordPress to behave in a little bit different way so you can set up as a portfolio. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this is typically done with theming. And if you go under, uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm logged in. So up at the top, I have my little logged in bar and I'm gonna go to the dashboard here. And this takes me to WordPress's back end. I'm not gonna go too deep into this stuff because you know some of you may be familiar with WordPress already. And uh, if you're not, I just wanna show you real quick. On the left-hand side, you know, under the categories of options that I've got here, there's, there's a um, category for appearance. And the first one is themes. And the whole idea with WordPress, and I think this is great, is it separates your content from your design. So you can literally change your theme or you can change completely the way it looks and your content stays the same. And I'm gonna give you an example here. Let me open a new window with the website in it and I'm gonna change the theme so you can see how quickly this goes. Now, not that we have a ton of content in here, we just have one little blog post and then there's a sample page. I'm gonna go back to the back end here and manage themes. WordPress comes with two themes. There's one called 2011, and then the one that was designed the year before in 2010, and both have some different options and stuff. And so under each, you know, and I can put more themes in here, and each one of them you can do a live preview, you can, so you can check it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say activate, and uh, it's going to activate this theme. Let's go back over to the page here, and I'm just going to refresh this page, and you will see that my design completely changes, yet my content stays the same. And I think that's pretty important, uh, particularly later on down the line. You get a couple years into your website, sometimes less than that and you just kind of want to refresh you want a new design or something well it's really easy to do or later on down the line if you want to design your own wordpress themes you know again it's easy to do so anyway um but we're going to set this up for a portfolio so we need a theme that will specifically do that and there's a ton of free themes out there and believe me i've had a number of years experience with wordpress and it's run the gamut there are some good free themes um, I haven't found any for portfolio use that really worked very well, um, but I did find a pretty reasonable paid theme. Um, that if you, you know, back on the article where you're probably watching this video, there's a company that I like called Theme Trust. And uh, if we open up the Theme Trust homepage here, they have a collection of themes that they've designed that are specifically targeted uh, towards portfolio websites, be it a photographer, a designer, um, an architecture firm, whatever it is that you're doing and you want a theme. Uh, if I go click on themes, they have fully functioning demos of each theme that they've got. And they're very reasonably priced, I think, uh, considering the amount of time and it saves you trying to modify somebody else's theme, which I actually think is the most time consuming or whether you're designing your own. And even in that case, you really need to know what you're doing. Um, but right out of the box, I think the uh, theme, uh, theme trust themes are e exceptionally good. There's a brand new one called Mindful that I haven't tried yet, but my favorite, and I've tried probably, oh, I've purchased probably six or seven of these from them. Actually, I think I've purchased eight. Um, but my favorite is Hero. And let me show you why I like Hero. Let's go ahead and select Live Demo here. And we're going to install this, actually. Uh, there's a couple things about Theme Trust. First of all, it's GPL license, and so your GLP license, so you can reuse them as much as you want. You can use them for commercial websites and personal websites. Uh, sometimes there's restrictions on those. You, know, you buy a theme, and you can't use it if you're going to try and sell something. So I really like that about the Theme Trust themes. Is that's the license for all of them. So if you buy one theme, you can use it on any number of websites you might have. Um, also, another thing I really like about Theme Trust is these are what are known as responsive designs. Um, and they're really cool. And so basically what that means is that the layout in a responsive design changes depending on what device you're looking at the website on. So for instance, if you have a smartphone, um, iPhone, Android, whatever it is you have, you know that when you go to websites, you can view the website, but sometimes the layout, uh, because it's being shrunk down to that tiny little screen, the links are really small, and sometimes they're hard to click on if there's a lot of them crammed together. And so responsive design, the idea behind it is that depending on the size of the window, it changes that layout. And I'll show you what that means. If you go to the demo, and I'm just gonna resize the window here, 
and you can see kind of here's the iPad range. It kind of changes it. And then when you get all the way down to iPhone, it completely changed it. So now I can scroll through and everything stacked. Nothing went small. It, it literally changed the layout depending on the screen size. Uh, it also ensures that no matter what people are using to look at your website, even if it's just a small monitor computer, that your 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 layout won't break everything is always visible uh, you don't ever get the the horrid horizontal scrolling so that's one thing or another thing i really like about uh, theme trust's work and most of their themes um they they label them in there not all of them but but a good 80 percent of them are responsive design uh it's a newer thing so anyway um that's basically the deal so how do you get started on this well if you purchase uh, one of these themes and i own hero and that's the one i really like and i'm going to show you this in this example Let's close this. I'm going to go back over to my website here. Let's go back into the admin area. And basically, when you purchase Hero, they will send you a link for download. And make sure you put that zip file in a safe place so you don't lose it. Um, I think they do allow you to re-download it, and there are ways to do it. It's just it's easier if you can kind of keep it handy. And on my desktop, there's the zip file. And I could unzip this and FTP it up and all that, but WordPress makes this really easy. I'm going to go on. I'm under themes right now. If I go to install themes... I'm going to click on that. I'm going to show you how to install Hero. And so basically I can go search, and this will search the WordPress database for stuff that's listed on their site. And some of them are paid, and most of them are free. But under the top little bar here, you'll see another one that said Upload, a little link. I'm going to click on Upload, and it allows me to upload a file. And what you're looking for is that zipped file. So if I say Choose File, and we'll go to my desktop, and I'm going to select Hero.zip. And I'm going to choose that. Let's say Install Now. And it'll take just a second to upload that file and unpackage it. Theme is installed successfully. I can activate it immediately. Let's go back. I'm just going to go back to themes under appearance, and we should see it listed. And there it is, Hero. And usually they have a screenshot associated with it. Uh, this one just has the name of the site. I can do a live preview if I want. When you click on live preview, it basically will um, will show you what your website's going to look like with this theme applied. And it's kind of blank right now because there's some options we need to configure in here. So let's cancel this. I'm going to go ahead. Let's just activate it. And um, we'll activate the theme. And what you're going to see now, if I go view, visit my website, is that, you know, it, it, it's loaded hero, but there's a lot of options in here I need to fill out. And I'll go ahead and show you the first one right now. And up here where it says clean, responsive, a minimal portfolio WordPress theme, this is all customizable. And in the hero demo, there was an image back behind it. And so I'll show you how to do that. So let's go back to the dashboard. And if I go under appearance, I have selection of themes, but now I have some new options under here. There's theme options, menus, all that stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to look at theme options. And these are the options I have for Hero. Um, I can upload a customized logo that will put it up on the top left of the website. Favicon, if I have one of those. I can even do custom uh, CSS style sheets. So if you know how to write CSS, you can start to manipulate your website. And it's great. You can do it right here inside the theme editor. You don't have to go FTP and start coding files and all. It's just really handy to have. Uh, if you go under home page I believe it is here it is top one says banner image and I've already created a banner image that I want to go back there and it tells you in here you want to upload an image for the home page banner the recommended dimensions are 1200 pixels by 590 which I have done and if I go ahead and say upload it's going to give me the the upload thing here this is a really cool thing in the new versions of WordPress is they have drag and drop so this file is actually on my desktop here so it says train guy edit and I'm just going to drag and drop it up there and it will go ahead upload it crunch it and uh, here's all my info. And it made it a little thumbnail and all that. We don't need to know about that necessarily right now. I could change the title if I want. We'll call this Man on a Train. Um, that's certainly cool. And then what we're going to do is come down here, and I'm going to say Use This Image at the bottom. That is our option. So let's just go ahead and select that. Say Use This Image. Voila, it has used the image now. If you want to take this away or put a different image in here, you can go down here and use this little uh, minus sign at the bottom to delete the image that's in there. But I like this one. It looks good. The other thing I want to do is this image, uh, it's supposed to kind of go full screen, but depending on the size of the browser window, it may have some edges that you see. So what I want to do, and I kind of edited this, if you can see with this massive vignette in here, um, and so it goes to black. So what we're going to do is take this uh, color picker here, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and select a black color here. Go ahead and go away. And I can also change the text in here. I'm going to leave it for now because I don't know what I want to put in there necessarily. Uh, we just kind of want to see it. But once you're done, if you go all the way down to the bottom, and there's a lot you can control on here as far as the home page goes, you want to save options. If you leave the page, it won't put that image in there because you need to save your options. 
And once the options are saved, now I can go back in, let's say visit site, and you can see that my banner is in there. Pretty cool. And I love the way this kind of, uh, you know, the way the style sheets work with this kind of parallax effect. Uh, so anyway, there's my man on a train. Um, I kind of prefer if you're going to run type over the image that the image needs to, you know, notice I used a pretty blurry image that's a little bit abstract um, because the type will be unreadable if you put something that's too detailed back there. So that's just something to think about. Um, we're going to do another video here and I'll, I'll move on. Um, this is just basic setting up the theme. It's that easy. Um, you go to Theme Trust, um, purchase the theme, they send you a link, download the link you upload it to your website activate it you're done and uh, you can start to customize the home page you can even customize the typefaces that are on here and some advanced stuff um, I'm going to show you how to start putting a portfolio together but we're going to do it in the next video so um, uh, thanks for watching this and uh, stay tuned and uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll move on to that now